We have new details now regarding jury selection in the battery trial of Nicholas Cruz. It hit a snag today. Attorneys argued about colored pencils Cruz was using while potential jurors in his case were being questioned. Prosecutors called it a cheap trick aimed at gaining sympathy once a jury is selected. Is there anyone that feels for any other reason that they cannot follow the law and presume the defendant innocent? As Nicholas Cruz sat for day two of jury selection on battery charges, for allegedly beating up a deputy at the Broward County Jail in November of 2018, Prosecutor Maria Schneider objected to something she said Cruz was doing at the defense table. The defense is Why is that trying to avoid the appearance of him participating okay. in jury selection there. Schneider objected to Cruz using colored pencils, saying the defense was trying to portray him as a child, disconnected from what's happening in the courtroom. We're objecting to that, Your Honor. We believe that that is something that they're doing so that the jury perceives that, you know, he's a child or he has a, you know, some kind of, um, his mentality is somehow challenged. Judge Elizabeth Schur wanted answers from Cruz's defense team. Have you brought a coloring book and crayons for the defendant, Mr. Ehrman? I have not, Judge. I have not brought them. When asked why Cruz had colored pencils, defense attorney Gabe Ehrman asked for a moment to confer with his co-counsels. He then gave this explanation. The state doesn't need to be concerned with what my client is writing and what notes he puts. Judge, right now, there's nothing that he's doing. His hands are crossed. He's not drawing. He's not writing. There's okay, nothing going so wrong. as long as he's not coloring with crayons as if he's a child, that's fine. The pencils were taken away, the judge ruling that for security reasons, Cruz can only use one pen issued by the Broward County Jail. The judge will reconvene for a hearing tomorrow, but jury selection won't resume until Monday, October 18th.